Now, before you panic with this story, just give it a read. See what they want. It's an exponential equation. They don't have that many pieces. So let's see what they're asking for. The given function f models the number of coupons a company sent to their customers at the end of each year, where t represents the number of years since the end of 1998, and 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 5. If y equals f of t is graphed in the ty plane, it's just the xy plane. They just switched a letter. Uh, which of the following is the best interpretation of the y-intercept of the graph in this context? Well, the first thing I know about y-intercepts is x is 0. So in this case, t is 0 because it's t. But same principle, right? So what happens when t is 0? Well, this piece here would reduce to 1. Everything raised to the 0 power is 1. So when t is 0, the f of x, the y, would be 8,000 times 1, which is 8,000. So Okay, it's a starting point. That's what most y-intercepts are anyway. So it started with 8,000. It's really what I want to know. It started with 8,000. So A, the minimum estimated number of coupons the company sent to their customers during the five years was some random number. No. The minimum estimated number of coupons, still not a minimum, uh, sent to their customers during five years was 8,000. No. I mean, maybe, but minimum does not sound right. Minimum sounds like a vertex if I had a parabola but I, I don't think it's going to be a minimum. I mean, I could revisit this choice and nothing else worked, but I'm looking for something that says like starting point. C, the estimated number of coupons the company sent to their customers at the end of 1998 was 1,428. Again, I don't know where that number is coming from. I'm assuming it's like, I don't even know, 0. 0.35 times 8,000. I have no clue. But anyway, the estimated number of coupons the company sent to their customers at the end of 1998 was 8,000, right? Because what is 1998? 1998 is the starting point. That's the zero point. So that is the starting value. They started with 8,000, so it's D. This is textbook, right? They're not really asking us to do any math here. It's purely understanding this equation. And exponential equations, you've got to get used to how they work. You know, We know how lines work, y equals mx plus b. Quadratics are a little bit more complicated because there's different versions of quadratic equations. But for the most part, exponentials are going to behave like this, where that number out front is kind of like your y-intercept. And if you're unsure about that, they're telling you to find the y-intercept. They're telling you to plug in zero for t. Just do it and then try to understand it based on that. At the very least, I think you would have eliminated c and a because where is that number even coming from? So you'd at least have doubled your odds of getting it right. And I would hope that if you're thinking, right, like is it a minimum or is it a starting point? Like, I don't know. I'd hope you'd recognize that y-intercepts are starting points. I don't know. It may, it may even be the case that if I graph this thing, I mean, I know it is the case because 0.65 is going to mean it goes down. So 8,000 is not the minimum. So, uh, you know, it's one of those cases where if you graphed it, if you weren't sure, you could see that it's not the minimum. So I don't know. There's really a lot of you can do to make sure you get this right. But most of it starts with just being comfortable that it's not a scary story.